Okay, I received my FT Aviator uh, yesterday, and I was kind of disappointed after being excited that I got the notification that it did get delivered by FedEx. I did not get everything that was supposed to be in the box in the box. It was missing the smartphone holder, and uh, it's supposed to be down here in the bottom, and it was not. Everything else was there, but not that smartphone holder. Go figure. But anyways, I contacted Fluidity, and they are sending me out a uh, smartphone holder. Not a new one. Or a replacement. They sent me the one I was owed. Now, <clears throat> a few things that I'm having issues with. Uh, they did not explain in the Kickstart setup. Uh, Kickstarter uh, introduction videos or in the how to operate the Fluidity uh FT Aviator. They really didn't explain this, but this is not a controller replacement. I was fully expecting a controller replacement that I would hold this in my hand, the smartphone holder to be over here, and I'd hold this, and the smartphone would talk to the drone. This would talk to the drone, and it'd fly around with a nice light, easy to go setup. That's not the case. The way this works is you have to have the app installed on your device. Their app that replaces DJI Go app. This talks via Bluetooth to your smart device, and then you're connected to the DJI controller. They don't really explain that. It's kind of shown in the video. I was kind of curious. Well, is that going to have the power to reach out to connect to my drone when I fly it out at uh, you know a quarter mile, uh, half mile? Is it going to reach? No, because there's no transmitter in this. This is simply a Bluetooth accessory to your controller. What this will actually say is when you are connected properly, and I am outside, uh, this will actually say joystick on here. Now, uh, what I did rig up was this, since I'm missing the arm. In case anybody ever wants to do that. But, uh, before warned, let me show you this. The app... For iOS devices, does not go full screen for a tablet. So if you're on an iPad, well, just use your iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. So we'll see how that works when I get the phone holder. <coughs> now, there are a few things on here. Uh, let me show you the. Uh, this is the gimbal up and down, which it's even though it's connected, it's for some reason not working. Uh, camera mode, video mode, this is a speed that the drone will move. So you got one through five. This is a camera select function button. It does, surprisingly, it does click. I was kind of surprised just a second ago. Now, I'm not sure what this button over here on this side is. I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> the way the drone operates, this is altitude up. This is altitude down, ascending, descending. Uh, your thumb goes in there. Now, if you lift up with your thumb, this thing is going to pop up. It's going to make a lot of racket and be annoying. On the top here, you do have a LED graph, which you can't really see it right now. But what it does is it's supposed to show relative direction of the drone to you or movement. Uh, one of the two. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm sure that was in the videos, and I just can't remember. Uh, on the back of the controller here, you have home, return, and takeoff, and then the power button, which operates in DJI fashion. Press, press, hold, and then it starts. Now, there are a few things that I wish they would have done to the controller. Now, this might be some user adjustability to this. I don't know. Now, I don't find the twisting yaw motion to be really fluid. Uh, there is... There does seem to be a delay between what I do here, what goes out there, and what happens here. That's my experience. It doesn't seem to be very quick compared to this. If I want to rotate my yaw, I can right there, and it happens instantaneously. This seems to introduce a delay. I really don't like that. Now, I don't know. There are a lot of stellar reviews already. This is a critical review. There are a lot of stellar reviews saying this is the most awesome thing since butter for toast. That is subjective. <laughs> I don't find this to have the fluid 
the fluid movement that I would expect at a $300 accessory to my drone. It feels the yaw motion. I just don't. I don't like that yaw motion at all. It just feels clunky. Even the forward, backward, left, right, up, down. It doesn't feel like a $300 controller. If I'm paying $300 for a game controller for my computer, I better get something a much higher quality than this. I will get something a much higher quality than this. This is only a Bluetooth controller. I would not be surprised if I could not connect this to my PC and use it as a game flight controller. Hint, hint. <laughs> so, did I explain that the, okay, you can't go full screen on the iOS devices for an iPad. You have to have this on your side somehow. And they, they should have included a holster, a bag, uh, something that clipped on your belt, you know, clipped over here on your belt to hold your controller. Now for me, I'm a little bit unique. Uh, since I have this directional antenna booster on top, uh, I use this cheese plate usually for uh, this right there, it would go right there. That's how I normally fly. Uh, so I might have to figure out some type of contraption where I can use my signal booster keep the controller on me, have the wire, have my smart device, and use this. I really don't believe this is the uh, unicorn we was looking for. But it is it is pretty. Now, okay, here's, here's another thing I want to mention real quick. Weight. Of course we want something light. But I also want something that feels like it's high quality. This is all plastic. It's all slick plastic. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. But it doesn't, the buttons don't have that feel to them that says high end. They're not, they don't have that little rubber coating. Now, you know, in some ways I'm kind of glad it don't have rubber coating because a lot of that rubber coating will wear off over time. The, uh, the on the DJI's they have rubber coating on the on the legs and all the legs, but there's no rubber coating on this, so it's actually kind of hard to hold on to. When I mean, if your hands are sweaty, this could be kind of slick. So that's the fluidity. I'm I'm I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I have a friend that was interested in this, so I might end up passing it on to him at the fantastic price of what I paid for it. <laughs> we will see.